In today's video, I'm finally going to measure the extraction of Turkish coffee. And because it's impossible to measure by just taking the sample, because there is coffee particles in the liquid, I'm going to filter it using paper filter, so it will be like filter coffee for like pour over or something. Because previously I've tried without filtering and it was like 4% and then it's failed out of range. And this video is uh, going to show you what is the real difference between slightly rubbed coffee, like it's started to rub and it's still light in the center, just, just started to rub, and full rub, when it's fully rubbed, fully covered the central spot. Because in terms of taste the difference is huge, and in terms of extraction we will see now, and we will check what is the DDS of Turkish coffee. As for the setup, I'm gonna use one Jesuit because it's easier to control. 1.0 grind setting with the standard burn Kino M47, and I'm gonna use uh, washed Rwanda, which is roasted for espresso, 14 grams of coffee. That way, I'll be able to brew 140 here and have pretty big motion. So it's 13.8. Precision is key today. That's why I'm using slightly higher volume Jesuit, because usually I, I, for such videos, I use the smallest one in order to have like less, less amount of grinding. Let's brew at 180. In the second brewing there will be inertia, it will not cool down the adapter completely and it will brew faster. No, it's now started. Almost there. So like normal wrap, first coffee is filtering. I will pour coffee in a cup after it's done filtering in order to see what's the weight of our coffee. That way I will be able to measure even extraction, not only TDS. Now I will brew it a little bit longer, like full wrap and higher lift, because it's wrapped almost completely towards the end. First one is ready, like no drops. You can see how it's filtered. And let's see how many liquid we've got. 105 gram point six. So we're gonna make full rub and a little bit of crack. So we have our rub in motion. and lift, full lift, let's do full lift and with some crack. So I will not spill it, let's just make a full raise. So there was full rub and full raise, not a huge difference around 235 to brew with the preheated so the second one is still filtering let's check the extraction yeah that's way cleaner this it was and the result is smaller than i've got previously let's measure it till 22 degrees celsius and let's make a sip of this coffee nice relatively acidic a little bit flat ish it's espresso roast. So we have 2.84. Nice berries and aftertaste and overall it's like, okay, I would drink it even in this, in this format. Well, now let's check the weight. Is it similar or not? 0.5 grams less, not an issue. I will not watch on the extraction and I will check aroma and flavor. And this one is darker, it's longer brewing and this one is brighter. This cup is more interesting, but it lacks, lacks the berries. Better body, slightly better. Berries, really clean, clean ones. So you can perceive berries uh, when there wasn't full rub. And this one is just dark. And let's check the extraction. So it's 2.9, which is 0.6 higher. So the dose is 
13.8 and here is our extraction. Let's check. Normale Lunga probably will be more visible. So as you can see there is some difference but it's tiny like 22.09 and 21.73. Not a huge difference but it's here and in terms of taste it's very different. Faster brewing, I mean not faster but lighter, lighter foam color is better at least for me and if you want like heavy taste brew longer towards full rub and you will have slightly higher extraction and as you can see extraction is pretty normal like in a proper i do not brew that high with that high of extraction 22 percent it's and if you're interested in seeing what the extraction difference will be with the lower uh, slower brewing and faster brewing but with the same foam color let me know in the comments and i will do this in the next video that's it for today thank you for watching see ya